Hi everybody, uh, it's great to be back. Fiona Hooper here with another edition of the Poetry of Painting. I'm really pleased to be back again and a couple of things just to tell you about. There's an exhibition that I've got some work in at the moment. It's the Association of Sussex Artists and the exhibitions in Horsham in West Sussex. If you're in the area, do go along and have a look. There's some fantastic work. Uh, we had a brilliant opening day last Friday, um, but still plenty of work to see, some beautiful paintings there. So I think there's over 300 paintings, over 80 sculptures and ceramics and 3D work, and lots of browser items as well for you to have a look through. Um, so if you're in the area, do go along and have a look. It's, it's a really good exhibition. It's open from 10.30 to five o'clock every day, and it finishes on Saturday at 3.30, this coming Saturday, the 21st. So um, it'd be lovely to see you there. I'll be there Saturday afternoon again. Um, so there, right. Well, this week, I'm really excited to be welcoming to the show somebody all the way from Georgia in the USA. So um, my guest this week is the lovely Ali Berry SP, who we'll call Ali, because um, she's said that she would like to be called Ali. So let me bring her on. <laughs> Hi, Ali. How are you? Hello, Fiona. I am doing good. How are you doing today? Good. I'm very good. Thank you. It's great to have you on here all the way from across thank the little so bit of water. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. So thank you again for inviting me to be a part of your show today. You're very welcome. It's lovely to have you on. So um, so we do the do the poems, get those done okay. first so we can talk about them. And this week we've both written poems about a painting of mine called Splash of Light, which I'll just put on the screen. Um, and this, this is an oil painting which has been painted on a canvas to which I'd, uh, which I'd covered with gold leaf beforehand. And um, it's, you know, one of my favourite subjects, forests, woods, trees, natural subjects, <clears throat> you know, the beauty of nature. And um, that's what I've tried to portray in the painting. Um, it's 40 by 40 centimetres, which I think for Americans is 16 by 16 roughly. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't have it here to show people in person because I was really pleased last weekend it actually sold at an exhibition. So I can't show it you in person, but just to show you um, with gold leaf, I've just got a little one here I can show you. And I just love the different effects that you get with the different light as the light changes on the gold leaf. It just makes the painting look quite different at times. So that's. Um, oil on gold leaf as well um so yeah but i was i was really pleased i was i was sort of almost disappointed in a way i wouldn't be able to show it to you tonight in person but on the other hand i was really pleased that um it's gone to a lovely new home and uh, they're really thrilled with it so oh chris saying hello fiona lovely to be with you again for another session of poetry of painting and martin's with us another poet martin goldie Hi, oh, hi. Looking hi. forward to hearing. The, yeah, looking forward to hearing our poems. Thank you, Martin. Thanks for tuning in. That's great. Um, so, I think uh, what we'll do next, Ali, if you don't mind, is would you like to read us your poem about my painting? Because this is just, you know, purely your reaction to my painting. Because we didn't discuss That's it at all in advance, did we? So, <laughs> no, we did not discuss. <laughs> Oh, but I do want to say that it is definitely a beautiful painting and I am happy okay. that it got a home, even though you're not able to share it with everybody tonight. But I'm sure the person who got it is very, very happy about that piece being a part of their lives right now. Thank you but, so uh, much. Thank you. Are you more than welcome? I wanted to go ahead and read my poem and I'm calling this one A Day in Nature. So I'll go ahead and start. Brilliant. A burst of oxygen fills my lungs as I take a walk in the outdoors. The soothing sounds of leaves rustling in the breeze as the sun shows through the luminescent green. The feel of the ferns as it caresses my feet 
containing tiny drops of dew as the sun shines through. With arms of light stretching directly from the sky, casting a glow with orange and yellow hues. The rich brown shades against a sea of greens create the perfect skin tone for the many trees. The giant stems heading towards the heavens above, their flag-like branches wave in the wind's up-tempo beat. Fingers follow the shape of a tree bark, filling every ridge, valley, swirl, and curve learning its unique wooded fingerprint that adds to the surrounding autumn forest scene. The ochre and umber colors create the earth tones upon which the sun spreads its warmth through filtered light. It is the perfect setting for a beautiful masterpiece where one's soul continues beyond the dimensions of space and time. Nothing beats an experience in nature one that is enjoyed without any filters. So please come and join me in the choreographed dance of the wind and trees. Brilliant, I love that. It, mm -hmm. the, the bark prints and a burst of oxygen and just the whole thing. And you've really got the colors in there as well, haven't you as well, you know? Yeah, definitely, it definitely the colors inspired me and I was just thinking about, you know, taking a walk in nature and all the things that I would experience as well as see. Yeah. And, and what people don't know about you yet, and I'm just going to tell them, is that you're also an artist as well. So yes, I am. You know, you're, you're obviously used to colours and, and just I, I love that. That was really beautiful. And, you know, the, the dew on your legs and feet and the ferns and magic, magic. Thank you. Oh, thank um, you so much, Fiona. Right. Well, I, I'll read mine now and then we can okay. talk about them. So uh, yeah. here we go. Uh, I've called it Splash of Light because that's what I called my paintings. So um, here we are. So deep in the ageless forest, a tranquil and secretive place, air dense with the aromatic velvety softness of the shadows, the light is filtered by a mosaic of infinite greens and golds, glinting on insects and dust motes as they dance in the glade, riding the gentle air currents of this sheltered private world. Beneath the soaring canopy on the forest floor below, the scents of warm earth and damp leaves saturate the air heady with the redolent fragrance of ancient memories, a comforting and calming balm with hints of soft green moss, timeless and enduring, caressing the senses with peace. Recessed amongst these majestic and enduring living pillars is the wonderful and beguiling mystery of emergent new life, resplendent in its coat of golden leaves radiant and glowing, the sapling pushes upwards away from the moist forest floor, a splash of light illuminating hues of fresh, vibrant lemon. In this verdant sanctuary, it will follow the cycles of nature, growing, resting, striving towards the light far above until its branches mingle and meld with those of its elders nurturing and protecting the myriad wildlife of the forest, taking its place in this fragile and precious realm. So that was my one. Oh, this was beautiful. Um, well, I love how you just did not incorporate just the trees and the foliage. And you also talked about the insects and, you know, all the inhabitants of the forest. And you talked about, you know, the old and the young, about nurturing as you know in terms of nature as well and i really enjoyed yeah. that aspect of your poem oh thank you thank you very much oh chris is saying some lovely phrases and words so thank you very much chris from on behalf of both of us um but i think we, we had definitely had some similarities there we about, did have some similar yeah. especially with the colors yes yeah and and the growing towards the light yes. and the light yes. coming through and yeah and I can tell that you know you love nature like that as well because it just shines through in your poem 
Yes, I can definitely tell your love as well. Um, and we kind of spoke a little bit about this before, about how we both enjoy nature and being outdoors and just, you know, just taking taking it all in, everything that we see, everything that we feel and everything um, that just not us, but the animals also experience outside too. Yeah, so yeah. I really enjoyed your poem. Thank you. And it it is, it's about a whole whole microcosm and, and ecosystem, isn't it? In a, a forest. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everything's interrelated and dependent on each other for food and shelter and, and everything else. So uh, exactly. Yeah. But you know, I when you were reading your poem, it was it was like I was there. I could I could feel that walk through. You know, when you say about you know your feet on the on the earth there, and yeah, I could feel that. Oh, and Martin saying a beautiful, vibrant painting, Fiona. Thank you very much, Martin, and a lovely description of the forest in both poems. Well done. So, thank you. Thank you on behalf of us both. Yes, thank you. So, um, but. I, I think this week we're going to do something slightly different as well, because you've got another beautiful painting about which you've written a poem, haven't you, Ali? So yes, I have. I'm going to take mine off, and <laughs> I now I've seen this painting, but I don't know anything more about it. So again, it's going to be a real surprise for me. And this is one of Ali's paintings. And I just yeah. love those colors and the vibrancy and the positivity that comes through from it. It's, it's amazing. So, Definitely. Um, so this painting, um, it's acrylic paint. It's painted on a stretch canvas. It's about 24 by 24 inches. And um, it's a little bit abstract, but I call this one a different world. Mm -hmm. And I used a lot of bright colors because just as Fiona mentioned, it's all about positivity. I wanted to evoke a very positive emotion to whoever is taking a look at it. And also it kind of incorporates a lot of the colors, the colors that we find that naturally occur in nature as well. Because we can see the blues, the oranges, the yellows and the greens as well, which are similar to the colors that um, Fiona, you had in your beautiful painting um, that we just talked about a few minutes mm. ago. Um, so I kind of wanted to just share a brief poem that I wrote about my painting, um, A Different World. Excellent. Imagine a world just pure and free, filled with tranquil waters, the blue sky and trees with air that gently tickles the skin where the sun's honey tones reflect on everything. Imagine a world with multiple dimensions. The path you choose is your ultimate decision, but wherever you look, you're engrossed in its beauty, mesmerized by vivid colors and immersed in tranquility. Imagine a world where you can bask in the sun and absorb all of its amber glow till you're done. So enjoy the shade of the trees and kick up fallen leaves and watch it take flight in the breeze. Imagine a world that can change its shape, twisting and bending till it reaches its desired state. For the mind has the great ability to wander and to create without any limits. Wow. Yeah, that's some beautiful imagery in, in your poem as well that just goes so well with the painting and Martin saying, wow, such a vibrant mirror image. It is, isn't it, Martin? It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Martin. Yeah, yeah. It's, I love it. Uh, how, how do you um, approach your paintings like that? Does the, does the painting come first and then the poem or do, did you have the poem and then you painted to match it or? Actually, you know, the painting um, came first. Um, yeah. Sometimes if I'm doing um, anything that's kind of abstract, sometimes I don't even know what the end result of the painting will be. Mm -hmm. I just sit there with an idea of the colors that I want. And then I just kind of just put color on the canvas and then I just let it direct me. Whatever comes in that can influence what the final image will be, then I just, I don't really filter it. I just allow it to come into my mind. 
And then I just allow my hands to just go on creating and keep adding color until I am happy with the results. So then I painted it first and afterwards while just staring at it every single couple times and I thought, oh, I should write a poem about it. <laughs> and these were the words that came to me um, when I took a look at it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And well, the poem and the painting are both beautiful and, and they go so well together as well. And I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm very much into nature and the natural world and trying to trying to uh, raise awareness of nature's beauty through my art as well so that people yeah. can maybe you know maybe they live in a town and they can't get out to nature as much but they can have a little bit of nature in their home with a, a painting a bit like yours exactly. you know, so, just yeah. like I said about the person who bought your painting having that piece in their home they'll always be able to have a part of nature with them absolutely yes yeah and and hopefully make them more aware of, of the natural world and and you know any little thing they can do to help protect it as well has, has got to be good so yeah I know I know that's one of my things at the moment well not at the moment it's something I'm really quite passionate about um you know and and the more we can celebrate it the more we can hopefully get other people on board and you know, do something positive to change the world and and improve it and stop it um, stop us losing all these wonderful it, you know, and protect it definitely. I mean, we need it. We need you know we need that exchange of air, that oxygen, that carbon dioxide, mm. and everything to keep yes. our resources and to keep us alive and the the animals alive and to make sure what you know our water and the ocean stays good as too. So I think that is very important that you're bringing those issues up and I'm happy to hear that you're very passionate about it yeah yeah and uh, I think we're, we're very much on the same track there you know in our own ways as well so uh, so that's brilliant but oh, Martin says very nice words for your poem thank so, you Mark yeah. and what about you when you get to writing your poems um, I guess do they come after your paintings they have done um, certainly for this series that I've been doing at the shows. They've they've okay. come after the painting. Um, I did one or two to start with on my own, and then mm -hmm. obviously once I you know started inviting other poets to join me, which has been a brilliant experience. And mm -hmm. like Martin, you know, met some really lovely people and had some amazing poems written about my paintings. But so like we did, we agreed on a painting. Okay, and and then we we each wrote a poem about that painting. So, yes, for me the paintings have come first. Although, you know, years back I did write a bit of poetry, but it, it you know, I wasn't a poet. I wouldn't say I was a serious poet by a long way. I just wrote a mm -hmm. few things, and and they weren't really related to my art at all. Um, okay, but uh, for this, you know, this series of shows, which. Um, I've just really been enjoying as well because I've, I say, I've met some lovely people, and, mm -hmm. and it's just been fascinating to yeah. to hear how different people interpret it's that it's one painting. Perspectives. Yes, yes, and I even had an invite to go on someone else's show to write a poem about their painting as well. Oh, so that, that was That's good awesome. fun. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, and, and all I knew about that one was the painting you know the so i didn't know the story of it because i think if if we if we had talked about my painting it would have influenced yes. what you would have written so definitely um, yeah. so it's good that you just allow the poet to just go ahead and just write whatever they feel or inspired to write based on what they see in the yeah. image present to them absolutely and and it, it is, it's just been a real eye opener for me. You know, I've learned so much about poetry doing this. And um, I've got two poets that have joined me at different times. They're both environmental poets. So um, oh. Yvonne Nugati and uh, Ros Autry. And they, they write poems, um, especially one that Yvonne wrote about one of my paintings. And it was very much about the planet and what we're doing to the planet and how we need to take more care of it uh, which was lovely mm -hmm. uh, and a, a really lovely poem as well so you know it's and I 
when I first started to do the shows I started looking up about poetry online as we do these yes. days and I was amazed there were at least 50 odd different types of poem different formats yes. of poem that you can very write. very different formats for sure yeah and I I'm, have still no learning, idea. I'm still learning about them too mm -hmm. yes yeah. especially recently when I had to write um a Shakespearean inspired sonnet um oh, I had wow. to write about summer and I was like you know I know about Shakespeare but I'm not really sure I understand how to write a sonnet and all of the different things that comes with it so mm. I had to do a little bit of research you know to actually figure out how to properly write a sonnet and read a lot of Shakespeare's ones before I could actually yeah. write mine. so definitely there are so many different formats and I don't know all of them but I'm still learning um, by looking them up and just trying to read through them daily Yes, yeah. Uh, one of my other poet guests does link poetry, Ritesh. Mm -hmm. um, so the the last word of the first line becomes the first word of the second line and so on all the way through, which I'd not heard of that before. And um, mm -hmm. he's, he's written some beautiful poems about my paintings as well. So it's I'm just so excited about the book idea that I'm, I did tell you about. And yes. you know, I'm thinking that I'm going to be able to use and obviously credit properly you know the the mm -hmm. poems from all of my guests in the book and I think it's going to be just an amazing book because there's been some beautiful poems written yes. I think so. you're meeting some very talented and amazing poets um that yeah. have been coming on to your show to actually put into words what they see through your painting so I think mm -hmm. the book idea I can't wait to actually see what you know how it turns out so I can take a read at it too Excellent. Well, you'll you'll have to be coming back on the show, hopefully, as well, so you can do more yeah. poems about my paintings. <laughs> I've enjoyed my time here so far, so I definitely want to come back. Excellent. That's going to be great. So, uh, yeah. So, um, just talking about your art a little bit more, is it, mm -hmm. do, do you do any sort of um, figurative work, or are you nearly all an abstract painter, or what do you do? I do a little bit of everything, I guess. Um, so I do abstract. Um, sometimes I do like portraits. Sometimes, mm -hmm. I, you know, if I feel like just painting things like fruits or, you know, like grapes. I think the last time I painted a bunch of grapes. And sometimes I do like water splashes. So whatever I feel yeah. inspired to do, I go ahead and do so. But I've never, I'm not trained. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I never went to art school or anything like that. I started painting, I think, in 2015. Yeah. And I started with just doing pastel. Mm -hmm. And then someone um, gifted me, like, some acrylic paint. And I was like, okay, I'll just try my hand at it and kind of see, you know, if I like it or not. And, and from then, I've just kind of blossomed, I guess, <laughs> more into yeah. of an artist-based um, from my time, just, you know, spending time just playing around with the paint and seeing what I can produce. Yeah, well, from what I've seen so far, some really lovely work as well. So, mm -hmm. and did you, um, did you have much lockdown where you are in Georgia there? So was, you know. We did last yeah. year, um, you know, when everything happened starting in March, mm. but then things have kind of started to open up from since last year, I think, or the beginning of this year, actually. Mm -hmm. um, where they opened up some of the restaurants. Um, and since, especially with the vaccinations coming out, then there have been a lot more leeway. So lockdowns have not been um, that bad. I think we were one of the first states to actually reopen um, right. through the pandemic as well. A lot of people were scared about that, you know, saying it's too early, you know, mm -hmm. the risk involved, et cetera. But um, right now it's still open. You can still go to the restaurants. I think they kind of have a mask mandate now in certain areas because mm -hmm. of the Delta variant. Um, I think the numbers are going up. But besides that, you're kind of free to go to work, go to the supermarket, go to the restaurant, go walk outdoors. Um, there really aren't that many limitations. What about where you're at right now? Um, we, we've recently started opening up a lot more. so. Yeah, we can go to restaurants and things again now. Um, okay. I, I was just wondering whether you're 
as well, whether your art helped you when you were in lockdown or, or just gave you the chance oh, yes. to do more art as well. It definitely helped me. Um, it gave me more time for me to do more art. Um, mm. This whole, you know, abstract nature that I just took on happened during lockdown. Before that, I did not do abstract art. Um, I was just painting, you know, like animals mainly. That was my thing for a period of time, just painting like lions or tigers or doing elephants and stuff like that. Yeah. So I fell in love with abstract art and having more time to be able to just play around with the paint. Cause you know, if you're not at home, then you're at work and you don't have the time to put to the craft and it was it was very nice for me to be able to sit down spend some more time with my art and even learn how to do abstract art so that yes. i enjoyed a lot that aspect of lockdown i definitely enjoyed having the time to do that yeah well it, it certainly paid off looking at your painting here which you know if you can see on the screen it's 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 really lovely and you know, people say about abstract, oh, well, you know, anybody can do that. You know, it's not like a portrait of somebody. But abstract is actually, I think, surprisingly, for most people, they'd find it really difficult because yes. if you're copying something, you've got that thing there to copy. Exactly. When you, you know, like with a, a, you know, a nature scene or whatever, I don't copy exactly, even if I'm painting outdoors, which I like to do, I don't copy exactly what's in front of me, or uh -huh. certainly from sketches and photographs, I change things and move things about. So mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's not just copying, but when you get into the realms of pure abstract, it has to work as a painting without it, does. it, without it having any... It has to yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, you've done really, really well there. It's brilliant, love it. So um, thank you. But um, well, we're we're getting towards the end of of our time for today. Um, I've had a really lovely time chatting with you, Ali. I loved your poem, both your poems you. and your painting, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as well. So, no, I've definitely enjoyed it. And I did very much enjoy your poem. I was very inspired by a beautiful painting. And I want to thank you again for, you know, inviting me onto your show. And I definitely would like to come back. So thank you. So much. <laughs> well, it's been fantastic having you on the show. And hopefully you'll let me um, or send me a copy of your poem so I can actually... Yeah post it with the painting um it'll be in due course but uh, if that's all right for you and it'll obviously credit you with the um being the author of the poem as well so uh if you would do that that'd be lovely and uh, if you'd love to come back on the show that'd be brilliant so yes i will definitely send you a copy of it and we can work out when i can come back again on the show excellent oh Martin's enjoyed the show. So thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for watching, thank Martin. So much, thank you for everybody who watched and listened in. Absolutely. And and Chris said great poems and great paintings. Thank you very much, thank Chris. You, Chris. So, yeah, so it's been absolutely amazing. Love having you on. And I really look forward to having you back again. Thank you again, Fiona. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Ali. So thanks everybody for tuning in and we'll be back again next Wednesday, 7 p.m. UK time for another session of the Poetry of Painting when I'll have another, arti uh, another artist, uh, another poet joining me next week as well. So thanks ever so much, everybody. Take care, have a good week and it's bye from Ali and myself. Bye everybody. Bye. Everybody. bye. bye.